Hello and welcome to the Drug Lifecycle Minute. I'm your host, Philip Day. My guest today is Dr. Mukesh Kumar, the Chief Innovation Officer of Drug Lifecycle DLTA. Good afternoon, Dr. Kumar. Good afternoon, Philip. Good seeing you again. Good seeing you too. Our topic today is one that we're really continuing on, and that is clinical trial technologies. My first question to you is how do these new tools, these new technologies, enable better decision making for the clinical trial managers? Well, I mean, the definition of new changes all the time, and mm -hmm. I don't think the technologies that are being used are necessarily the newest technologies out there. Well, most project managers still use uh, Microsoft Project and Excel worksheets. Worst case scenario may use some manual tables or lists that they compile. So I don't think there is a lot of modern technology being used uh, in clinical project management. And actually uh, the biggest concern there is that people still use very old tools that are known to be not very, not very efficient. Okay. So, um, in terms of you know technology, people are using more and more Microsoft Project, um, but uh, that is twenty-year-old technology. So, um, I don't believe there is much new technology out there. There are some proprietary uh, programs that companies have created for internal working, but their efficiency is um, all over the map. Uh, the common concern always is that it takes a very long time to start a trial. And uh, mostly it is linked to people doing things the old fashioned way. Yeah, well, the old fashioned way, that, that brings up the, the, the deals, you know, that these new tools and initiatives are not being used. Is it, is it cost to purchase these new tools or, or is there another reason why? No, I think it's inertia. Uh, most project managers are so used to using their old technology that they, to train on a new technology would take some time. Uh, you have to learn this new tool. You would have to become proficient in it, which requires a little learning curve. Most technologies, you know, even the simplest of simple technologies require a little learning curve and project managers are too averse to that. Uh, many a times they just want to keep doing what they're doing uh, and not learn something new. So it's, it's mostly, you know, inertia. I think I, I blame, you know, them being, uh, you know, then them being so busy that they don't have time to learn something new. Mm -hmm. Well, lastly, uh, uh, along that same lines, is there a, a database that, that is shared amongst uh, clinical trial managers and clinical trial projects? No, there is no database or program like that. Uh, you know, there is nothing universally available or publicly available that people can use. Uh, there are project management systems and clinical uh, trial solutions and uh, also online, you know, tools to clinical trial management systems, uh, CTMS, uh, available out there that do different things. But most of them, uh, you know, they do, you know, one part or the other. There, there's, there is no program out there, uh, you know, that does all of it in one place. Uh, our program, Delta, does do that to, that to a large extent, uh, but I'm sure, you know, uh, our clients can give you some feedback, better feedback on it. Uh, but, uh, you know, we do have uh, a lot of, uh, you know, different people using different things. And uh, most of them do not do everything in one place. Okay. Well, that, that would, but inertia is the problem. And uh, if they were to work with you and, and Delta, uh, they can run their clinical trials in a much more efficient way. And, um, and they can find out more about you. And as a matter of fact, we're going to tell them about that now. Uh, yeah, so uh, just to add to that, I mean, I would say it's not just Delta. I mean, I'm sure there are other tools out there. Uh, what we are advocating is use of more technology <clears throat> in the industry. And I believe, you know, most people still use old technology, which, uh, which doesn't work, help them much. So our advocacy is, you know, we are certainly, you know, we, are, we have developed a tool that we are very proud of. But I'm sure there are other things. But what we want to say is that everybody should be using uh, better, newer tools than using the tools from 15, 20 years ago. Exactly. Dr. Kumar, thank you so much for joining us today for the Drug Lifecycle Minute. You can find out more about us at www.druglifecycle.com. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter 
and LinkedIn. Take control with DLTA. Have a healthy day. Bye-bye.